don't, I'm not even talking about Declan Rice anymore. Oh, you're talking about new signings? I'm talking about <laughs> this guy. And I think a lot Who of Who else are you going to get in, do you think? Who Chimene is going to say? Chimene. You you think I'm crazy? You think right, I'm no. See, you, look, you, you that's them. That's them Photoshop pictures that I can't stand. And I would I'd actually ban. <laughs> it could actually happen though. <laughs> Listen to this, right? Real Madrid mm-hmm. go and get Kylian Mbappe. Kylian Mbappe joins Real Madrid. Real Madrid then go and uh, give us uh, give us two or many because they need to get they need to sell players. Big up Patrick for joining us. But yeah, so the reason why I brought this up is because Real Madrid are looking to get thing. They're looking to get uh, Mbappe. And this is what was being said. Arsenal have Arsenal and Liverpool have already re- apparently made bids to, for Chua Mini. And apparently that Real Madrid would be looking to sell either Valverde or Chua Mini for around 80 to 100 million euros if they were to get Mbappe's deal over the line this summer. Yeah, but that, and- that would take you up to like what? Like 250 million pounds? We've already oh. we've already spent two hundred and ten. We could it could bring us up to three hundred. So three hundred million? Nah, you're, I that's, be you're not doing that. No, we would. You've, you've been ta- you've been you've actually been taking like, advice from from Ches's owner. What's going on? Todd Bowley's just li- giving well, giving information from across Kendall, West London. Yeah. But Kendall, we have an opportunity to get rid of Thomas Partey and bring in one of the best. Uh, we'd, we'd be basically bringing in Patrick Vieira two point Hey, girl, can you give my can I give my opinions on that? <laughs> well, are you guys laughing? Go ahead. I was laughing. I was laughing the way Chesa just sitting back and he's like, I'm sick of it. It got, it got, it got, it got. Are you, are you, are you? I, I thought, look, I thought it was banter from you and Tay. I am point. dead serious. Are, 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 are you, are you guys, are you, do you seriously think this home Mbappe to Arsenal or to many to Arsenal is true? I think no, it's no, just no, no, no. Mbappe is joining Real Madrid. Real Madrid. Mbappe joining Real Madrid means that they're going to sell one of their midfielders. They're not Would they sell... though, or just keep them because the other ones are older? They're going to sell one of them to f- to help balance the books and do stuff. Roberto, girl, why would they get rid of Tuchemeni before getting rid of Cruz and Modric? The Cruz and Modric don't have value. They literally are going That's to have the to. That's the point. That Tuchemeni has more value, so why would they get rid of him? They're going to spend two hundred million on Mbappe. They are not going to need all these midfielders. Madrid is not paying two hundred million for a player who's free next year. Bro, I am telling you right now. Mbappe is not leaving this year, bro. Mbappe is leaving this year. PSG and, and Real Madrid are going to have to come to some sort yeah, of. Yeah, the reason why Mbappe leaving this year, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. He's way overpriced. No one's going yeah. to pay two hundred million or one hundred fifty million when you can get him. Why is free next year? Wait, wait, wait. So you guys believe Mbappe is not leaving, or he's leaving? Not, no, uh, no, he, no one is buying him. He doesn't even till next year. I don't think. If bro, the only reason the why he's staying is because he needs his loyalty bonus. That, I think he can gain it like this summer for next year. Oh, but they've made it clear that they want to move him on this transfer window. It yeah, doesn't matter. Benefit, He's under contract. He doesn't from matter. Moving him on. Do you know what I mean? They benefit from it. He doesn't benefit from moving on now. No, he but can he wait already... one more year, get his peas, still get the same money, go rumage for free. No, but I seen this. I seen that he's agreed uh, uh he's agreed uh terms with Real Madrid. But the sources this, though. This the is for 2024. This is Sky Sports. That, that's oh, yeah, but look, to join them in 2024. Yeah, this is so No, I get it that it agrees with you, but the PSG hierarchy have said that they do not believe that they are going to keep him this transfer window uh, at the end of the transfer window if he's if he's going to leave on a free. They're going to either make him force him to sign a new contract so they can get money for him or they're going to sell him this summer. The PSG yeah, but hired- he literally owns their club. He literally runs the club. Like he, he like oh, they were even going to offer him like random stakes in like Qatari like businesses and that. I, I just he'll dictate when he goes, and I think yeah, yeah. it'll be think, um. Yeah, in this situation, yeah, you, you believe that they have no say. Like they have no say in this whole they, matter. They cannot force him. They cannot force him out of contract. He'll sue them. He can sue them. Yeah. No, but PSG can slap a two hundred million price tag on him and. But see. no one is gonna pay. Who's but gonna then, pay? but then, if you're Real Madrid, right? Yes, you can probably pay that money. But why the hell would you? Like you, you must actually be we'll very no silly sense. because, it, like, two hundred million in a case of what twelve months he'll be or well, less than twelve months he'll be free. Like Even it doesn't. It actually, he can start speaking to them. Yeah, because yeah, he can do it in six, in six months because it's not yeah. um, in the same league. So you can go, you can in January, you can in six no, months, you can. This. 
this is this is what the PSG president is saying. Of course, he's going to say this, but this is what he's saying. He's saying that Mbappe is annoyed. Uh, Kylian Mbappe is annoyed. Uh, actually, this is Kylian Mbappe. He's annoyed by the comments said by thing saying that he promises he will not be leaving PSG on a free, as the player does not remember making that promise. Yeah, so that's saying like that the president said that he wouldn't leave for free, but Kylian Mbappe is saying, "Well, I because. didn't say that." Sounds like then you like leave yeah. yeah, this is Kane. Kane and Levy. Remember Kane? This is Kane oh, and he Levy, promised yeah. me I'm going to be set free. Nah, it's, uh, it's a verbal like... agreement. You know, verbal agreement. So shake my hand. Let's you Igal, put it Igal, Igal, I don't, I don't see oh. how you get it. Igal, next year he's free. In January he can uh, negotiate a contract with anyone. So you're telling me that a club is gonna come and say here's two hundred. If PSG are smart, they have to drop that to a hundred. Somebody. Yeah, hundred million is realistic. That's realistic. Because you get a lot more clubs inspired by that, but even 100 million is too much because his wages are going to be mad. Yeah. If you think about it, it's not even worth it. Okay. But my whole thing is if they bring in Mbappe, do you know what kind of money they're trying to give Mbappe? Ooh. There's going to there's going to be somewhere where they sell or they do something to try to counteract the fact that they're going to give oh, him. Oh, you don't spend money. They have yeah, a lot of money. Do. Real Madrid do spend money, but they they they're smart with their the, the way they do stuff. Recently, they'll buy players like Chuameni and thing, knowing that they're young and that they can get resale value if they sell them quickly in a couple of years time. And they might do that with Chuameni. They also still have Kamavinga. They recently just got the Turkish kid. You're telling me they're going to continue to collect these assets and not maybe ship off one of them? Well, they've already got rid of Benzema's wages, so there's a there's a thing off the off and the Hazard. start. And Hazard as well. Yeah, too. and Hazard, Hazard yeah. Uh, and Asensio. Hazard, yeah. Asensio was there for some yeah. loyalty bonuses because he's yeah, been there sure. for so many years. I got uh, for you to and get... Plus, Ancelotti's many... leaving, isn't he, at the end of the season anyway? So they'll probably have yeah. a shake-up next next season. For you to get Tusha Meni, got a lot of things will need to land in your favour. Party would have to leave for a certain fee. You'd have to have Tusha Meni come in. Mbappe, go to Real Madrid. There's a lot of things you have to work on. It's not impossible. Oh, it's very one, unlikely. One, one more thing. Sorry, so for it. One more thing also. Yeah. Your Meni has to be willing to leave a club that has a Champions League to go to a club that has zero Champions League. <laughs> no, that's not... <laughs> and they got... Oh, like, I'm I'm Patrick Patrick can speak, if speak hey, about it saying he's so good. Why would we want to join a team where he's not even going to play? Because you're saying <laughs> Dick and Rice is... Too many, many would start. Over who? Havertz. I thought Havertz is a 65 million player. He's going to be on the bench. Right, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, bro, that, that, oh, position. you shouldn't be speaking. You have, you have 80, 70 million pound players on the bench all the time. <laughs> What are you talking about? Yeah, but you guys are in poverty. We are not in poverty. We're we not in poverty. <laughs> Bro, if you haven't realized, the landscape of Arsenal Football Club has changed. Ever since we got rid of Ozo and, and Aubameyang, we've had money. We just started... We just started hey, God, the only flex you've done is this uh, this, this, this transfer what? window. You haven't Post flexed COVID, Post-COVID, everyone laughed at us when we spent $150 million. And they said, oh, you spent $150 million. The most money... Well, Lukonga. Is, is it La Conga? Yeah, yeah, but because it wasn't $80 million on like Pepe, though. 72 million was on Pepe. But that was but that was but that was before. I'm not talking after when we bought when we bought you um, paid that in coupons. The ben White, the Ben White uh, He said you paid that in coupons. The Ben White <laughs> Ramsdale transfer window. Do you guys remember that transfer window? Yeah. Anyway, how much how much did you pay for, how much did you actually pay for Aaron Ramsdale? I can't after remember now. Million. It was a lot. 32. Yeah, 35, people were saying, it? that's crazy. Yeah, that's okay actually. Anyways, guys. I'm just going to say this. The whole Mbappe segment was not going to be Mbappe to Arsenal. Because I could show you guys the Mbappe to Arsenal segment and you'll probably sit here and laugh for 20 minutes. Because <laughs> the whole Mbappe to Arsenal thing is done and dusted in my opinion. I don't believe it. I think Mbappe, if he was to pick a Premier League club, who would he pick, ladies and gentlemen? Because apparently he said he would pick Arsenal. Um, or Miguel Delaney said he's the, the only he's single place he ever Madrid. ever goes is Real Madrid. I don't like he does not even consider anybody else in my opinion. No, but Kendall, this is a hypothetical world if he joined the All oh, right. Twice. What? He rejected us twice. As, yeah. as a 16 year old and then later on. It's not really I a think, question again. I think he would choose um Madrid. Aston Villa. <laughs> <laughs> just say it, guys. Just say it. You know what you're okay. Newcastle. Let me, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you I don't think so. How much do you guys rate Miguel Delaney? I'm not going to lie. I don't rate him that much. So I, I, have, I have fat beef with Miguel Delaney. He's, so he's got stinkers. To be honest, no, don't rate him at all. Uh, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? 
No, Ega, let me ask you, do you believe that Mbappe can say, oh, in the Prem, I want to go to Arsenal? This is, it's, it, it, he said, the way he worded it, he basically said that, that he believes that Mbappe's first preference would be Arsenal. And he, Why? And he, Why? Why Arsenal? He, apparently, he likes Mikel Arteta's evolution. <laughs> Oh, man. It was the laugh, maybe. <laughs> Listen, Look, this, I'm this, not gonna lie to you guys. One good season. And in Who's that? The best in the world. I was just uh, for some reason. You know what? I think seeing, you know that picture think... where he's got loads of pi- like loads of pi- uh, posters on his wall. It's of Ronaldo, isn't it? I was thinking in my head, is it like who is it? <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna say, anyone who says one good season, I think that's a casual take. I really do. No, no, God. Let me explain what I mean. New contracts. What's Edu cooking? Because I think he's cooking up a Premier League title. Here we go. Yes, 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 people, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, let's get this show started. Today, we're going to be talking about a bunch of stuff, but first things first, we're going to make sure you guys do smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and of course, if you want to become a channel member, you can do that also. Now, we are speaking a lot 